Welcome back. Uh, we're just going to continue our series of videos on the uh, new compact industrial MIG machines. Out in the sun again. It's uh, knocking on 30 degrees at the moment, but uh, we're forecast a bit of thunder, so we're going to crack on with this video. So we're going to look at the 255 machine, single phase machine, but this machine, in terms of the user interface, exactly the same as the larger models in the range. So uh, what you see on this machine is the same as on the other machines. Uh, we'll just switch it on the back. Hopefully the first thing you notice is the machine's completely silent. Uh, it's a fan uh, on demand system, uh, it's thermostatic, so until the machine warms up and needs the fan, uh, it'll sit there consuming far less power than a machine with a continually running fan, so that you've got an efficiency uh, saving there straight away. Uh, going through the controls, uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, MIG welding first, so uh, just move into here. First thing we want to do is select the MIG process on the front panel there. 2T or 4T trigger, as you probably all know, 2T trigger is just press, hold it in, get to the end, release, 4T, you can press and release to start, press and release to stop. So we'll use 2T. Uh, we're going to use it in a synergic mode, which simplifies the setting. So we select our material, steel, aluminium, stainless steel, we're going to go with steel here and then toggle through the wire size that we're using, one milli wire. Next, the question is, what thickness are we going to weld? I'm going to sell, assume we're welding three millimeters. There's a nice little table on the inside the door here. So I look at one milli wire, three mil thick. It says I need um, 110 amps on, on the amperage setting. So all I need to do is dial that down to something like 110. Does it need to be that precise? There we go, 110. That presets everything else in terms of the parameters. When I start welding, if I want to trim the voltage up and down, I can trim this plus or minus from the standard setting using this button. If it, the arrow's vertically up, then it's in the default uh, position to trim it up or down, depending on your, your welding position or angle. Inductance setting, similar thing, leave it in a sort of uh, vertically up position on the pointer. Uh, should you want to uh, trim uh, the inductance, you can plus or minus on that. And that gives you a certain amount of spatter control and, and spatter reduction. You can fine tune it using the inductance as well. So that's the simple, quick way of setting up for MIG. Uh, a couple of additional controls here. Uh, this dual purpose button. If I briefly press it, it puts me in gas test mode, so I can check the gas flow coming out of the torch. Briefly press it again. Oh, if I press and hold, it will start the feed motor, which is the wire loading uh, position to load the wire into the torch. Release, it goes off. So continuous press, wire loading, press and release gives us a gas test. So that's all set up, ready to go for a big welding. The only thing I need. There is my work return lead in the negative slot and I'm ready to weld. Should I want to set the machine manually, I just go down to the special program area here. Now at this point now, I've got independent control of the amperage and of the voltage. So I can basically make up my own settings completely. If I go on to any of the synergic programs, you can see by adjusting the one control, the amperage control, the machine uses its programs to preset the voltage at the desired level. So quick and easy to set using this synergic mode. Moving on to uh, TIG operation, toggle it into the TIG function, get rid of my uh, MIG torch here. This machine is lifting, so there's no HF, you can touch to start, but it does use uh, trigger control. Uh, first thing I want to do is reverse the polarity. TIG is always with a positive work lead, negative torch. So, torch into the socket there. Hook up the gas. You'll obviously need to change the gas at the back of the machine. It uses the same gas connection on the back of the machine. We need to get switched to a pure organ for TIG welding. 
uh, and last is the trigger connection. The torch I'm using is a standard torch you'd use on any of the power weld um, ACDC machines, so our 202, 212, uh, our 211DI all use the same torch with the same connections. So that's hooked up. I'm in TIG mode and then that's ready to operate. I say it's touch, touch down start, but I can touch down, press the button, brings the gas on, lift to strike the arc. When I get to the end of the weld, if I press the button again, it will take me into a uh, down slope function which I can adjust uh, on here in terms of a down slope time and it will give me post gas. So it's better than a basic sort of valve torch operation but it's still still lift TIG. So that's set up for I say a TIG, very quite quick and easy to swap over and I will just do the last process on here which is the MMA that instance I want to swap back my work return lead and then I just need a, an electrode holder plug that into the positive socket there I'm on the MMA process I can adjust the output current here and then I've got a anti-sticking function there which I can adjust uh, plus or minus uh, in the MMA mode. So three processes on this machine, MIG with all the synergic programs, lift TIG and MMA. Uh, next video we'll be uh, moving on to uh, welding with this machine so watch out for that. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss anything. Any questions about the machine just post in the comment section and uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.